Okay, I'm going to buy you this game. What game? Uh, VR Paradise. Hold on, let me look it up. Gotta open up Steam real quick. Any second now. Okay, um... VR Paradise. Hmm, okay, okay. I dig it. <laughs> <laughs> it's your own virtual strip club, Terry! <laughs> It's weird cat girls. Terry, you watch anime. Can you tell me the fascination with cat girls? Because I don't get it. Um, cute girl with ears. <laughs> with cat ears. That doesn't explain so that's, the, that's, the, that's the fascination is... What, what, why? <laughs> like, what's... Why can't you just stop at cute girl? Why do you have to have cat ears? Because it, it's... It makes their design more unique, I guess. Like, I don't know, like... <laughs> I appreciate you trying. <laughs> I appreciate it. So, some of you may be wondering where I've been for the past little over a month. Long story short, I've been taking a break on YouTube. If you watch me on Twitch, you probably know all of this already, because I've explained it a couple times there, and if you're not following me on Twitch, you really should, because you're missing out on great moments like this. Yeah, I'm doing the one health challenge. This is going to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> Hang on, I got you. Welcome back, hey you guys, have health. I'm back with my one health challenge. <laughs> I want to be your friend, okay? Come here. Come here. Yeah, it's a cool little weird thing in a ball. Friend! Whoa! Get that in my hands. Look at him go! Hi, little guy! Are you okay? <laughs> oh, I need to get my crowbar. You need to stop freaking out. Okay, we'll survive tropical, but just like shells, and we're gonna have shells here, so sorry, buddy. I wonder if I can beat him. At some sprint, I know, right? <laughs> He's going on a journey! Let's see the temperature of Terry's butt. Like I'm refreshing your stream in the hopes that there's not a 30 second delay. <laughs> well, that's gonna be a little bit awkward. Okay. 50 <laughs> <laughs> I love how my commentary has just stopped because ever since I picked up this radio, so I'm too busy jamming to the same song over and over again. No! <gasps> it broke. We lost the beats, everyone. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I stream Thursday through Sunday, starting at around eight o'clock p.m. EST. Which, if this video goes out on time, is tonight. Wink, wink. Huh? Wink, wink. So if you want to watch some live, live fun times, twitch.tv slash 25 It's a good time, just saying. Anyway, for those of you who have no idea where I've been, this video is for you. With YouTube, you expect to have ups and downs. Some videos do great. Some videos do terrible. Some videos you think are the greatest thing ever get the views. And sometimes no one watches them at all and it really sucks. That's just the way YouTube is. It's a constant up and down, and you know, no one understands it. Sometimes YouTube is in your favor, sometimes it seems like it's not. That's just the way it works. You expect those kinds of hills and valleys while doing YouTube. However, over the past, I, it's kind of hard to judge this now because I took a month off. So before, this is all before my month off. Um, 
things were really they, my my channel statistics were crap. They were spiraling the toilet. They were going down, and I couldn't figure out why. Um, YouTube they give you helpful little informations like, oh, why do you have less views? And typically they just kept on saying, oh, you're uploading less, which I knew wasn't the case. I, it was way, 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 way less views than just not me uploading as much. Um, they were taken to account that, you know, I used to stream on YouTube as well. So I would technically have like 40 videos out in a month because I'd have my daily upload and then I'd have streams like four days out of the week. So it was 40. I stopped streaming to YouTube, I still uploaded daily, so I had like 30 videos. So, it was only 10 less videos, and YouTube just kept on saying, yeah, less views, less views is because you're uploading less, which I knew wasn't the case. So finally, YouTube gave me some information that was useful one day, instead of just saying, oh, not enough videos, or not as many videos. And they gave me this. Why are your views lower than usual? Multiple factors. Um, 146,000 less views. And for those of you who don't do YouTube, for a channel my size, that's huge. <laughs> that is a, that's, mm, that's a gut punch right there. Um, and then what's even worse is the following stats. Viewers watched your videos 37% less often than usual from recommendations on YouTube. Subscribers chose to watch your content 56% less often than usual after seeing your videos in the subscription feed or notification. That one right there. That, mmm. Mmm. That, mmm. That one hurt. Um, and then your videos got 14% less traffic than usual from YouTube search results. That could, you know, that could be YouTube's end. You know, there's not too much more I can do with that one other than try to make better thumbnails and titles. And yeah, but... That middle one with the subscribers watching my videos less, that one, that one was a punch right to the, that wasn't just a gut punch, that was a fa face punch and a crotch kick. That one really sucked to see. So this got me thinking, well, you know, subscribers choose to watch my content 56% less often than usual. How many of my views overall are coming from subscribers? And I found this. 70% of my total views aren't even coming from people who are subscribed. Only 30% are. So half of that 30%, more than half of that 30% are choosing not even to watch my videos. So seeing all these numbers and really thinking about it, putting it all together, it sucked. It took the wind out of my sails for the first time. I was just sitting here thinking like, what am I doing? Because it's clearly not working. This isn't just a normal low high point situation. This is a super low point. And because of that, I was like, you know what, through my six, seven years of doing this, I've not once taken an extended break on my own time. You know, it's if I stopped uploading, it's usually because I lose power for a week because my power company's ass um, or I get like sick food poisoning and I have to take a couple days off, but never an extended amount of time. So, I was, you know, what? this is the perfect time to do that. Let me step back for a little bit, figure this out and come back with a plan. So, here's what I think is happening and what I'm going to do instead. The first series that picked up steam on my channel was Rollercoaster Tycoon 3. And this was way, way, way back when. I just started uploading to this channel again and I was just, I was playing that game because Rollercoaster, I really wanted to play Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 because I loved that game but I couldn't get it to work. So I did Rollercoaster Tycoon 3, and for some reason, I don't know what, that series got popular on my channel. And for the longest time, I was thinking, you know, why this series? It's terrible. <laughs> my, my, me in that series is terrible. The gaming content is terrible. Yet people watched it. And they subscribed for it. And after a while, I was just thinking, oh, they just really, you know, I found a group of people who liked games involving roller coasters. That's what it was. These gaming videos with roller coasters, these theme park, these management games are what I stumbled into. All right, cool. I can work with that. As time goes on, I stick with these management games, but none of them do nearly as well as Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 or these roller coaster ones in general. Like, they do better than, you know, say, a horror game on my channel, but they don't do nearly as well as these other ones. 
That's when I realized it wasn't management games or even roller coaster games. It was just roller coasters. That's it. And I can back this up in a couple more pictures here, but I just want to put this out there that this isn't everyone. This isn't everyone that watches my video. If you're sitting there saying, hey, that's not me. I watch your videos and I'm not just in for the roller coasters. This isn't about you. This is just a big core of my audience, the, a giant main core of my audience. Um, so if you're sitting here thinking, hey, that's not me, don't worry, I'm not talking about you. But the majority of my audience is in it just solely for coasters. They're roller coaster fans, not game fans. And I think that is the biggest problem with my channel right now. I'm making gaming videos for roller coaster fans. And I think that is the biggest problem. And I can prove it. Because if we look at this picture here, this is just a small little snapshot of my channel and the latest Parkitect series I've done. Five videos. Six videos. I can count. Um, the first one over here has a coaster in it. 1.3k views. Second one does have a coaster in it. But I'm also in it, and the coaster's not on the track. Under a thousand views. Another, the next one, riding a roller coaster, over a thousand views. Next one, ride or shows a picture of the moving coaster, thousand views. One after that, no coaster, me on it, seven hundred views. And then the one after that, roller coaster, one thousand views. So just looking at these pictures alone, if there's a roller coaster moving in this thumbnail, or you're actually riding perspective people are gonna watch it if i'm on the thumbnail nope <laughs> we don't want to see this idiot we just want to ride the roller coasters this screenshot was taken before my break so over a month ago and if you look at this section right now on youtube it's the same story where each of these videos that has the roller coaster in it has at least over 100 more views and the other two they're still below a thousand it is crazy, just that difference alone in those thumbnails. And this also goes for Planet Coaster videos. If I do a Planet Coaster video where I'm doing nothing but scenery, it gets way less views than if I have a roller coaster in the thumbnail. And not only that, every single Planet Coaster video where I build a coaster and I ride that coaster, the audience retention rate looks like this. So how long are people watching my videos? Can you guess the section of the video where I'm riding that roller coaster? <laughs> it's right there. It's that little, right, in case you didn't see it, it's that bump right there that's riding the coaster and that's not riding the coaster. And every single one of my videos where I build a roller coaster, this graph looks like that. So all of this just proves <laughs> that most of the people watch my videos for roller coasters. I have roller coaster fans. I'm not a roller coaster fan. <laughs> In case you haven't been able to figure that one out through the videos where I make all these jokes and I make a lot of people upset because I'm clearly joking, but they take this coaster stuff very seriously. Um, I'm not a I'm not a coaster fan. I never have been. I was just playing a video game, and that video game got people to watch that that's what happened so where do i go from here well there's two things i can do one i can just focus solely on roller coasters turn my channel into a roller coaster channel we can talk about all sorts of coasters put out a video describing a coaster and the history of it and go and visit theme parks and ride coasters and i could do that but that's not me <laughs> that's not what my channel is and I, I'm, I'm not going to do that. The other thing I can do is just upload what I want to upload when I want to upload. And that is what I'm going to do. Um, daily uploads, I'm not going to do those anymore. Um, with daily uploads, it's always a, I got to record, I got to edit, I got to upload, rinse and repeat. If I want to stream on Twitch, that takes, takes another chunk of time out. And it leaves me no time to do anything daily uploads. And I like doing other things. <laughs> so daily uploads, I'm going to say no more. I don't want to force myself to have to get a video out the next day. And for the longest time, I was doing daily uploads because, you know, way back when you think if you're not uploading, people are going to forget about you. 
and that's the only way to you know keep on keep on just pushing out content for people to watch to keep them on your channel. I don't think that's the case anymore, so I'm not going to do that. It's also going to allow me to edit my videos more, which is going to be great because I think these edited videos are going to be way better. Um, look at the Phasmophobia series I'm doing right now. I love that series. I'm putting editing into it. I'm enjoying it. It's not getting as many views as my other videos, but I don't care because it's such a good series. I know it's a good series, and it's funny, and it's a good time, and I love it, even if it doesn't get the views. So I'm going to keep doing that series, and I want to do more series like that. More series that have more editing. It's not just me playing the game. It's playing the game with a twist. And I think that's the direction I want to take my channel in from here on out. Less series like, oh, part 58 of me playing this game. Because those series, people watch the first few episodes and then viewership goes completely away because people stop caring. Less theme park games. Because I, I'm stepping away from the theme park stuff. And I'm hoping to grow my channel through the games I want to play in me. I want to grow my channel from me, for me. I want people watching for me, for my commentary, for my editing, for my gameplay, for all that. Not just because I decided to ride a roller coaster in that video. So I'm going to finish the series I'm working on. Planet Coaster, King Donut. I'm going to finish that one. I'm going to finish the Parkitect one. And then after that, I'm backing away from... All themes, all things theme park roller coaster related for a little while. And I think that's it. I feel like I'm missing stuff, and I probably am, but... I don't know, this video is kind of everywhere, so editing it together so it makes sense. It's gonna be fun. It's the first challenge, my first video back. Yay! Um, <laughs> no, hopefully I did hit everything, though. I talked about the break, why I did it, where I'm taking my... Yeah, I think I got everything. Make sure to follow me on Twitch. Like I said, it is a great time. If you're missing the live streams, you're missing out on a, tons of great content. Tons of great people as well. The chat is fantastic. And I love it because I get to actually talk to you guys in real time. Like, you leave a comment, maybe I'll answer it. Maybe I'll miss it. Who knows? But if you're talking to me on Twitch, like, I'm gonna see it most likely. And I try to read every single chat message. So, not only is it for me and the content there, but the people who watch it as well. It's a great community, and you're missing out. I'm just saying. You're missing out. A lot of good people. A lot of great people um, on Twitch. So, yeah. Twitch.tv slash 25 if you want to go there. And, yeah. I think that's it. Thank you all for watching, and uh, it's good to be back. Can't wait to start making some more videos and seeing where this goes. Thank you all for watching, and I uh, hope to see you in the next video.